Greetings, and welcome to episode 54. In today's episode, we'll be discussing what is known as social climbing. It's the art of elevating your status through proper behavior and proper purchasing. <laughs> anyway, those of you that don't know what it is, you'll get an explanation. And those of you that do know what it is, you'll get to discover whether you're doing it or not. Because you may be doing it and not realize you're doing it. And those of you that are doing it and realize you're doing it are probably really not going to like this episode. But, if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, social climbing. To put it quite bluntly, it is the art of making yourself look better than the next person. It's a facade within the illusion that everything's cool. Uh, you buy into the illusion by going to the, the nice neighborhood and buying a nice house and now you've got to fit in with the rest of your neighbors who live and carry on a certain way. It's mostly false. They're, they're a completely different person behind closed doors. Your neighbors are. And once you get in on the social climbing aspect of life, that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be pretending to be someone you're not to fit in. It's kind of like living at high school for the rest of your life, or at least until your mortgage is paid off, or until you decide that you're sick of that shit and move. <clears throat> because now, once you start social climbing, every decision you make from that point on becomes about making yourself look good in the eyes of your fellows. And they're not even really your fellows, they're just your neighbors. You probably don't even like them, but you just want to fit in. Life isn't about fitting in. But I want the nice house. No house is that fucking important. It just isn't. It isn't. <laughs> Social climate. I want to be invited to the parties, and I don't want them talking shit about me. Odds are, if they're coming to your house to talk shit about so-and-so, they're going over to so-and-so's house to talk shit about you. Garen fucking teed. It's triangulation, and, they, and they're going to triangulate with everybody, not just you, and there's going to be a leader of the pack. Probably the, ho the head of the homeowners association. Everyone wants to be good in with him. That way that you can let a couple of things slide or maybe get a couple of things put into practice. So, everyone's going over to the homeowners association, the, the head of the, the, you know, the president's house, and they're talking shit about Sally. And then Sally will go over there and talk shit about Sue. And then Sue will go over there and talk shit about Beth. And Beth will go over there and talk shit about Rebecca. And the same thing goes with their husbands. Bill will go over and talk shit about Dave and blah, blah, blah. But when they're all together, when there's a party, it's, oh, how are you doing? Another beer? <laughs> Steve's cooking on the grill. <laughs> it's all fake smiles and bullshit. And <coughs> <coughs> kind of goes along with my last video about what you own being placed at a higher value than you. Your fake facade being placed at a higher value than the real person. And this is why people have these huge midlife crises. These huge midlife crises. <clears throat> it's because you spend X amount of years pretending to be someone you're not. Pretending that you like your neighbors when you really don't. And one day you crack. Because you get tired of it. That's where the midlife crisis comes in. You And if you notice, some people reset to a different time. Most people reset to a time just at the beginning of their decision to be a social climber. Now you have to remember that some of these people made this decision back in high school. 
That's why some people go back further than others. Some people just got into it like maybe five or ten years ago. They're in their 40s. <clears throat> so they revert back to, what, 30s? mid Late 20s to early 30s, they revert back to there. Uh, people that have been doing it since high school, or even earlier than that, they just flat out lose their shit. And people don't realize that. Well, we don't understand. It must be something in the water. No, it's you're, you're stupid. <laughs> if you don't understand that pretending to be someone you're not for a very long time is not going to have a fucking effect on you, you're just batshit crazy. It's going to have an effect on you. You're going to have that feeling that you're always alone. Even when you're in a room full of people. Why? Because people are there to see the facade. They don't give a shit about you. And any chance you had of them giving a shit about you, you blew that when you built this facade. So you have this feeling that you're alone. This feeling that you can't trust anyone. Because everybody's fake. <laughs> <laughs> and the list is pretty much endless of the reasons why the people in these situations crack up because they're not nurturing the, the soul they're being they're nurturing this facade to keep this facade going so they can fit in fitting in isn't the most important part of life that's like an illusion within an illusion it's an illusion in the first place to have all this fancy stuff. That you have this security and that you're better than everyone. That is an illusion. That is an illusion. <clears throat> now within that illusion, now within that select group of people that's already better than everybody, now you want to be better than each other in that group. Or at the very least, not let anybody get too far ahead of you without you catching up. <laughs> Like I said, the Joneses run really fast. And in this case, the Joneses would be the, the president and his wife or the president and her husband of the Homeowners Association. Because you're going to want to get in good with them. That means a whole lot of chapstick. Moing, 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 moing. That way they'll let some shit slide. And like I said, maybe you can get something voted in to make everybody else bend to your will. Which is cool if you're into that. If you are a social climber and don't realize it, pay attention. Maybe you'll see a few things that you're doing, and then you'll start to understand why you feel the way you do. If you're doing it and you realize you're doing it and you have something negative to say about me calling you out on it, or calling out social climbing in general, then go ahead and leave a comment. I want to know what you have to say, because it's going to get to you eventually. And eventually you're going to, well, what do I do? I'm going to teach you what you do. When you get tired of that shit and you need rest instead of flipping out and killing your neighbors or your wife and your kids or your husband and your kids, do this. Just say fuck it and be yourself. Cease and desist in your attempt to place value on everything but the things that have value. Start to assess the people you have in your life and if they have any real value to you. Because up until this point, you've placed value on their behavior, knowing it's fake, knowing they're acting falsely, you place more stock in their behavior. Knowing they're only making these purchases to impress you and those around them, they still make all these expensive purchases. So most of the time, these people are living well beyond their means just to keep up. That means the slightest little bit of nothing. Poof. And they're down to or below the poverty line. That's how far beyond their means they're living. In a life they don't even want. Most of them. But they're going to keep it up because, well, my wife wanted this house. It is the worst of all illusions.
to social climb just so you can fit in. Well, I'm going to fit in. I want people to like me. I don't give a fuck. Well, you'd never be welcome in this neighborhood. I wouldn't want to live in a neighborhood where one of the criteria is that I act falsely to impress everybody. Because no, ma no matter how much money I had in my bank account, no matter what purchases I made, because I refused to be a mindless automaton and drone around with the herd, <laughs> I wouldn't be welcome. And that's beside the obvious dreadlocks and color of my skin. <laughs> but I'm sure that they have uh, African-American social climbing circles also. I wouldn't want to be part of those either. I like not having a dress code in my own home. I like not having to have a certain type of vehicle that has a certain price tag attached to it. I like not having to upgrade my house because everybody else did. Because my house has to be worth what their house has is worth or else my house is bringing down property values. And I could get kicked out of my own house that I'm paying for because of a homeowners association. Really? You couldn't get more. F let me let me word this properly. Who getting flustered? You couldn't get further away from the soul, from your essence, than social climbing. That's not just being false and carrying ego. That's making a fucking sport out of it. <laughs> and there is no winner. All you win is you might be get voted in as the homeowners association president. Now you're the king of the phonies. That's all you are. You're the king of the fucking phonies. <laughs> Homeowners Association president. Social claiming. Really? If I go over to Steve's house and I see Steve's not acting like a, you know, a normal human being, I'm not going to have anything to do with Steve. I'm going to be like, Steve, I got shit to do. I'll see you later. Steve's going to be like, well, I'm, I'm not good enough for you. I'm... You think you're better than me? And you know what the translation to that when someone says that? You think you're better than me? The translation to that is, wow, I think you're better than me. <laughs> so when, if you get, find yourself in one of these situations, you move into an area, and you find yourself surrounded by fake people, and you're acting just as false as they are to fit in, and making purchases well beyond your means. Or even just, or maybe you're loaded and infinitely wealthy. And you're making purchases of things you wouldn't normally buy just to fit in. Yeah, you're, you couldn't be further away from your essence at that point. Like I said, social climbing is, it, it's almost an art. It's, it's, it is a sport. And there's an actual winner. You can be the Homeowners Association president. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Being rewarded for being false. For being so far removed from your essence that you, you, these people are the most likely to crack up and, and murder people. If you notice where the, the school shootings are coming from, it's not coming from the slums. It's coming from <laughs> the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The middle and upper middle class. Apples and trees. Mom and dad are batshit crazy because they're not being themselves. They're not being genuine people. And that reflects in the children. And they're, well, why is, why is Timmy crazy? Huh? Why, is, why is Jenny bad shit? Well, because they had you as role models. And now they're on lithium. And now they're suicidal because that shit makes you fucking crazy. Crazier than you were without it. Antipsychotics.
Yeah, check. Go go do some research on it. They make you suicidal. <laughs> and most of these kids that go and do these school shootings are on some kind of fucking antipsychotic. Because of the role models they have. Got to be fake. Got to be false. Got to fit in. They say, well, this is the American dream. No. American dream is breaking down. The American dream never was there. It's an illusion perpetuated by these idiots. And now people are being born smarter. And these kids are growing up seeing that, wow, this is just bullshit. And it's not the kids that are broken. They're trying to function within a broken system. And the only way they see is to go take a gun to school and kill kids. <laughs> because they're on lithium and they're not thinking straight. Or they're on some antipsychotic and not thinking straight. Because you wanted to fit in. If you're watching this and you're a social climber, there is a way out of it. Stop acting false. Be yourself. Get back in touch with who you are and the things you liked before you got into social climbing. Chasing your tail. High stakes tail chasing. That's all that is. High stakes tail chasing. Now you get down here to the lower level where I'm at. And we still have that the tail chasing, but it's 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 much more it's ambient. <laughs> we don't do it to impress each other. We do it so we can eat. <laughs> so we can put fuel in our vehicle. When we make a purchase, it's not to rub it in somebody else's face. And now, now don't get me wrong, we still do it. But you bet your sweet ass we're not just going to say, hey, Timmy, guess what I got? I got one of these. Go fuck yourself. Or say, hey, Timmy, I got one of these. You want to come hang out? <laughs> so, all I can say is, let it go. No sport is that important. <laughs> at, at least football is fun to watch. When you're going to sit on your, open your, your your curtains on your on your living room and watch your neighbors play uh, social climb. <laughs> huh. And like I said, you may go to whoever's house, pick any one of your friends in your little your little neighborhood your click your little gang there <laughs> any one of those your fr friends houses and you talk shit about somebody else in the neighborhood or have them come to your house and talk shit about somebody else in the neighborhood because if they're talking shit about Susie they're talking shit about you to Susie it's called triangulation everyone's off balance towards everybody else nobody knows who's talking shit and if you think that nobody's talking shit about you, you're out of your mind. And we have social climbing even down here on this level. Do you fit in? Do you smoke weed? <laughs> Do you know so-and-so? Name dropping? Activity dropping? Because we can't, we can't buy the expensive shit like a 15-bedroom house, so we do the simple shit, you know. Want to smoke this joint with me? What do you mean you don't smoke weed? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Timmy. You know Timmy? What do you mean you don't know Timmy? I can't hang out with you then. So we do social climbing. It's just at a different level. <laughs> at the lower level, it's less life or death. 
You won't get drummed out of your neighborhood or lose your house over it. You just won't have any friends. <laughs> but when you're at the the, high, the upper level in, the, in that 15 bedroom house, and I'm not saying mansion, I'm saying house. <laughs> then then it's like life or death because then you could lose your house you've been paying on for 10 or 20 years <clears throat> into your third mortgage you know what I mean you could lose that shit just because everybody votes you out of the neighborhood because nobody likes you well you stop pretending to be someone you're not that's not the words they're going to use what they're going to say is you haven't been yourself lately <laughs> you start cracking up and you've decided to listen to what I'm telling you and you just focus on you learn some breathing techniques get back to your essence and the first thing out of their mouth is going to be you're not act you're acting kind of funny you're not you're not being yourself when in fact you're being more yourself than you have been in years but you're not being false you're not being that highly manipulative outward shell, that ego. Now, that's one thing to have an ego. It's another thing entirely. I mean, in this case, your ego has an ego, has an ego, has an ego. You're like a Russian doll at that point. Because you have a different ego for Susie, a different ego for Beth, a different ego for Jimmy and Steve. And then you have an entirely different ego for when you're all in the same room together. Why? Because you know and they know when you're not in the room together, you're all talking shit about each other. So you got to put out the, oh no, I like everybody. <laughs> and yes, the same thing happens at the lower level. It's not just for the upper crust or even the middle crust. Social claiming happens. You're just not going to get very high when you're at the lower level there just ain't that high to go <laughs> you get like two or three rungs it's like a step ladder <laughs> but when you have money then you got that extension ladder you know goes up to the third floor and you want to get it to the top of that motherfucker <laughs> And people say, well, how come I don't see you out at the bar? How come you don't hang out? Because I like being me, and nobody's important enough. Nobody is important enough for me to act like somebody else for their benefit. If you're going to come over here and talk shit to, about Steve or Susie, you better make damn sure I don't come in contact with Steve or Susie. Because it's not my job to keep your secrets. But I told you that in confidence. You didn't say that. You said Steve was an asshole. So I said, you know, Betty said you was an asshole. Are you an asshole? Well, that Betty's a bitch. And blah, blah, blah. Hey, I can get all the dirt. All I got to do is be myself and let you guys be assholes to each other through me. <laughs> or I can disassociate with stupid people and just not hang out with people that are false on purpose. For the pretense of societal gain. Nobody's that important. Nobody. Nobody's that important. They haven't printed enough money on this planet. Since the inception of money. <laughs> For me to want to play, pretend to be somebody I'm not. And if I don't fit. In where I decide to buy a house and they don't want me there Pfft, see ya I don't want to live any place I don't, I don't feel welcome there's no place I would ever live that I didn't feel welcome that would cause me to want to pretend to be someone I'm not so people would like me nobody's that important if my daughter said but I like it here you'll like it where we move to because <laughs> we ain't staying here. 
Huh? My wife said, but I like the neighbors. Fucking move in with the neighbors. Because <laughs> I'm selling this motherfucker and we're out of here. <laughs> I'm swearing a lot in this video. That's how just passionately I feel about social climbing. Just being false for no reason. There's no real reason. I can't fathom it. Maybe, and it's not that I can't fathom it. That's, that, that was me being disingenuous. I know why they do it. I just don't understand why it's important to do it. Why is it important? That's the part I don't get. Why are these people that important? Well, I grew up with John. Okay, what about the, everybody else? You don't know everybody else. You know John. You grew up with John. John don't even like it here. <laughs> You're the only one he confides in. You're the only one he'll be his genuine self around. And he's finally confided in you and told you he's going crazy, literally, because of the way everybody acts. And you still want to be in that situation? That's why I don't keep company with a whole lot of people. I don't have to impress anybody. There's no social climbing aspect. I don't have to pretend to be someone I'm not. If I'm myself, nobody cares. Nobody flips their lid. If I can't be myself and have you like me, then I don't want to be around you. <laughs> But likewise, I can respect that if you don't like me because I'm me, well, let's leave it at that. I can respect that. We're allowed to not like people. We're allowed to not like each other. I can respect that. But when you come at me like, well, you need to change who you are, and then I'll be your friend. What? Are you completely out of your mind? Have you lost your mother father mind? <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to be anybody. Least of all you. You want me to pretend to be you. I don't like you either. <laughs> so if I don't like you, but I'm pretending to be you, then I'm not going to like me. And that's another aspect of what happens to these people. They don't like any of these people, but they're pretending to be these people. So all they see when they look in the mirror is a reflection of all these fucking people they don't like. And that wears on you, the illusion. You start after, I'm going to say, five, ten years of doing it, you start believing in the illusion, that the illusion is real. And then that's probably when it starts to collapse, is when you start thinking it's real. It's no longer, it's not a facade you put on, like a suit. You forgot that this was just bullshit. And now you're holding it as real, and suddenly that's when it caves in. Because you know you know, you don't like these people. Or perhaps it's just that you don't like them as much as you let on that you do. You, they think that you're just, oh. And then think of it from their point of view. If you know it's bullshit... The odds are that everybody in that circle, everybody in that little neighborhood, knows that it's bullshit. But nobody's going to say it. Nobody's going to call it out. And the one person that does call it out, he's going to be asked to leave. And no, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if you're doing it, and you don't realize you're doing it, pay attention to the things I just said. Look through your life. Is that what you're doing? If you're doing it and you're doing it on purpose, and perhaps maybe want a way out later, for later, all you have to do is stop with the bullshit, stop acting, stop pretending, and get back in touch with your source, with your essence, so you can, can reconnect with source. Healing, the healing process is almost instant. I mean, it, it takes some 
some time for the residual BS to fall away. But as soon as you reestablish your essence, healing is instantaneous. But if you want long lasting healing so that you become a complete being again, or back at least to where you were before you started this horseshit, you need to get away from those types of people that would want you to create a false self to be around them, that would want you to stretch your credit beyond limit to live beyond your means just so you could have the purchasing power to buy the shit that makes you look like you fit in, like you belong, like your bank account matches theirs. I'm glad I don't live in that kind of environment. If I were to hit the lotto today, I would still not move to that type of neighborhood. Because I just cannot fathom pretending to be someone I'm not to fit in with people I don't even like. It just it, it stands to reason and I couldn't I wouldn't be able to bear it. Anyway, we're getting on to the 30 minute mark and uh going to go ahead and call this one. <laughs> I, I I swear a lot in this video. Like I'm very passionate about not people not being fake around me. I just I can't stand it. And no, it doesn't make me a better person than you unless you think it makes me a better person than you. It just means that I'm not going to be fake around you. I know that deep down in there somewhere you are actually there. And I would probably like that person. But knowing that this is a false projection of yourself, I don't like that. But that doesn't mean I don't necessarily like you. Anyway, <laughs> if you have liked this video, if you have enjoyed it, please feel free to click the like button. You can also favorite it if you want. Uh, please leave comments down below. It's supposed to be a discussion. And if you have any questions or something to say, ask away or speak your piece, whichever. But if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then please click the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>